Welcome to this quick demo of the all new Expression Universalizer 2. Expression Universalizer allows you to universalize your After Effects projects so that they can be opened by other copies of After Effects running in any language. A common use for this is if you, for example, create an After Effects template that you either sell in a marketplace or just distribute to your friends. Um, if you have any expressions in that project and you have not universalized those expressions, they will have an error when they try to open it. And what's new in this version of Expression Universalizer is in the previous version, there were all kinds of exceptions. You had to be careful not to rename effects before you ran it. And even if you did, sometimes it didn't work. We have completely rewritten the entire expression parsing engine on this new version. So it will work now in 99.9% .9 of the time. This means you don't need to worry about whether your effects are renamed or not. You don't need to worry about anything. All you have to do is open up your project in the same language in which your expressions were written, run Expression Universalizer, and you're done. Once you've done that, you can give your project to anybody in any language. Without, They obviously do not need Expression Universalizer. They just need to open your project, and it's going to be working perfectly. So let me just show you real quick what I mean. So I just have a very simple project here with a solid. I'm going to go ahead and add an Expression Control Angle Control, and I'm going to just do a quick pick whip expression here. So as you can see, the expression is written in English. It says effect angle control and then angle and then, you know, obviously we can control this. So let's go ahead and save this and I'm going to switch over here. I have After Effects running in Spanish and I'm going to go ahead and open this project that I just saved and you're going to see here that we have an error. The error says that it cannot find that the effect called angle control, even though, of course, that effect exists. It's just that in Spanish, it is called something else and it just can't find it. After Effects is just not very smart that way. So what do we do? Well, we go back to the um, English version of After Effects. Again, if I'm running After Effects in English and I wrote my expressions in English, then you need to run Expression Universalizer in English. By the same token, of course, if I had written the, my expression in Spanish over here, I would run Expression Universalizer here, you see? Um, so just basically run it in the same application in, or language in which you wrote it. So anyway, so there's really nothing more to do it. You have very simple options. You basically can select to process just the, the one comp that's selected or all the comps in the project. You can create a log file, which is highly, highly recommended. That allows you to see everything that was done, all the changes that were made. So in case, again, it works 99.9% .9 of the time, but even then you wanna make sure that you know, you know what got changed. And then add universalized tag means that it adds a little comment in the project that allows um, template sites such as Video Hive and Revo Stock and all these places to quickly see when somebody submits a template to see, ah, okay, this template author is smart. He ran Expression Universalizer. We're not going to have problems with our customers. So, you know, it just makes their job easier and um, everybody's job easier. So, anyway, once you've set those settings, all you do is hit Universalize Expressions. Here it says that universalize, universalize one expression. And if you can see here, it changed the effect from uh, angle control to this fancy name with numbers and stuff. So we'll go ahead and save that. We'll switch back again to the copy that's running in Spanish. Now you can see that it, there are no errors and we can go ahead and see that, look, it is actually working in the Spanish version of After Effects. And that's it, really. I'm, I know that was a long-winded explanation, but all you have to do is open your project in the same language that you wrote the expressions in, hit universalize expressions, save the project, and you're done. Hope you guys find this useful.